What is up guys, how's it going? My name's Jackal and welcome to, or welcome back to, the channel. Whichever one it is, we are here for our Pokemon Red, well not our, my Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. And uh, we are here with our two new additions. Uh, we still have Fuck You because who cares. Um, of course we have our main star, we have Oisy Doisy. And, uh, ooh, he's about to hit level 22. That's amazing. And we got the good one. The good bug. Because the stupid bug is in the box because nobody likes him. We got Chungus, the Jigglypuff. And, uh, he is a new addition and doesn't really have anything to do right now. So, uh, let me know when I should, of when I should evolve Jigglypuff. Because if I'm not mistaken, doesn't Jigglypuff level up with a um moonstone i'm almost positive that's true and then uh i caught a geodude in here my first battle was with a geodude and because he is a stone i meant to name him stony baloney but um we apparently could not spell baloney correctly we switched the g and the n so instead of it sounding bologna now we have Bolonga. So uh, we have Bolonga the Geodude. Because, you know, we're just going to stick with the... Uh, we're just going to stick with it at this point. There's no reason to really go back now. I'm not going to lie. I wanted a Zubat so fucking bad. I was ready to have a Golbees. That would have been his name, too. His name would have been Golbees. Wow. Mmm. Delicious. Fuck out of my face. Oisy toisy 22. Ooh. Rare candy. I feel like I'm gonna save these till the end of the game, to be totally honest. We gotta get through here to get to Cerulean City. Kadarpy. Mm. Bring up Bolonga. He's about to gain a level two, so might as well. I don't remember Geodude being very good. I'm actually kind of sure he's, like, kind of dookie. I have plenty of other Pokemon that I can catch. So it's not like I am married to sticking with Bolonga here. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I want to look up if they came out with any better Nuzlocke rules, if anybody did for the new game. Because a lot of the ways that people were talking about playing them was... You know, only using new Pokemon and only using the first new Pokemon you see. Which, I guess that's a good system, you know, because it's more of an open world game. But, if somebody came up with a better system, I'd love to hear it. Thirteen. Sure does level up fast, though. I feel that was an excessively short level up time. Mm 
I'm just going to keep getting Chungus that experience. Get him on that experience share. Why am I using Tackle on a Geodude? On a dude. Much better. Cool. Escape Rope. Something that there is definitely more of a chance of me going back and using. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. You motherfucker. Wasn't there, wasn't there a ladder somewhere over here? Maybe not. I know it's not this one isn't the way out, but. I'm going to find you first, dickhead. Piss me off with that shit. Ooh, that's not effective. But that's gonna be, that's gonna be. Level 9. Learn a new move? Pound. There we go. There we go. Team Rocket, that makes me very nervous. That makes the Lord very nervous. Oh God, that's terrible. So bad. No can do, boss. We're recording, right? Yes, we are. Alright, we Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. Just unironically evil for the sake of it. That is obnoxious. Too bad you won't get to enjoy the pocket sand. Or tat 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 tat. Don't you be doing any fucking funny shit. Oh god. That one pocket sand. All it took was one. God, I love having psychic so er, er yeah, psychic move. Confusion, not psychic. I remember forever playing Pokemon Stadium back in the day. I never used Confusion because I assumed it just tried to confuse your enemies. Same thing in what game was it? Chrono Trigger. When, you know, in the Super NES translation, one of his moves was called Confusion. So I just never used it. And then one time I use it and it's like a flurry of fucking slashes. And I was just like, yo... is not at all what the name of this move implied that this was. <laughs> I 
HP up, well, you know who this gotta go to. Oisy Doisy, the man himself, the myth, the legend. Longer. Damn, he's faster than me. So lame. It's amazing. I don't know about future gens. I imagine because these games are still fairly easy, you probably could do it. But... One of the things that I did love about this game is that when I was a kid, the only Pokemon that would ever really matter would be my starter. And they would pretty much battle everything to the point where the game was almost good. I didn't want to escape. You thought. But when you're playing the game for real and you're like spreading out your Pokemon, trying to decide, you know, who to use and when, the game is just so much more fun and challenging. Like, I wouldn't even grind because, you know, as a kid, what was ever the point? You know, just get him, get the starter strong enough to beat Brock, and then, you know, after that, you're pretty, you're pretty set to go. Because War Turtle would have just been fighting everybody here, and that's dangerous. Because you know, by the time I get to the end of the game, I have a starter who's like level like sixty-five, seventy. And it's not until you get to Gary that, like, you even have to worry about losing. Thirty-three. I've not been playing as long as I thought. So I got my first day of work back without my old shitty boss working there. The big bad man is gone. He's gone. I've been bragging about it and happy about it all weekend. And honestly, it just felt great today for me. Like nothing was different. It was just a normal work day. But the day just felt more easy. It felt more relaxed. Less on edge. There we go, baby. Okay, let's get the doice out here. I think I'm going to put uh, Chungus back in front. There's no reason for Bolonga to stay in front. I don't need to worry about defense. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, buddy. Oddish, you say. You know, I don't remember how good of a Pokemon Oddish is. Or any of the other evolutions. Oh, that's a bummer. Get him, Butterfree. Get him, the good one. The good one is here. The good one has arrived on the scene. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Bum ba da ba bum 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 bum. Sleep powder. Yeah, get rid of poison powder. Chipping health damage isn't something that I'm going to be super worried about. But two ways to just stop them from doing anything. I may need that. Okay. Let's go. Can you put him to sleep? All right, Jigglypuff. Let's see what you can do. Let's go, Chungus. Look at you, look at you. Yeah, buddy. Maybe I should have named him Big Chungus. Hmm. I forget which is the... I don't think this is... No, it was the last rocket that killed me in my first playthrough. TM1. Okay. So here's the thing. Mega, I know who can learn it. I know it's going to be... Uh, well, I guess Balonga too, but Chungus can definitely learn it. But Mega Punch also seems like a move that... Seems like a move that Jigglypuff would learn. Mm. No. We're not going to use it yet, but that's, that's some tempting shit right there. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Why can't I count the numbers on my phone? Unfortunately, Chungus, this is no longer the place for you. Ooh, that's a bitch. Wow, it didn't affect him. If I would have known, I wouldn't have used it. Okay, I'm not concerned. Got him. Fuck out of my face. Chungus level 10. You should only really have rap, right? Pretty 
pretty easy to survive this onslaught. This one's a long one, though. I was going to say, please don't actually fucking get him. Get him with a poison. Fuck you. Twenty one minutes it's been. Yeah, we didn't play in ten minutes. Sorry, just looking at the text message. Chungus is still mighty enough for this job. Back to that Pokemon Center is what we gonna do. Cause we not gonna die. Not gonna let Pokemon die. No, sir. Hmm. Nah. Throw a big boy in there at him. Is it this town or the next town that I get the first? I want to say it's Vermilion. Is where I first get the... Uh... Is where I first get the first rod. Just go to some old ass route and catch myself a magic carp and just take that one off of the playing field. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the day, guys. We uh, getting almost through that cave. I definitely, especially this being a nuzlocke, I do not want to venture too far in there and end up losing any of my guys unnecessarily. Um, obviously, fuck you could go whenever his time comes, but I um. I just want to make sure I'm not getting myself in too far because I remember that's how it happened the one time and I don't want that to happen again. So yeah, I will be back next time guys and uh, next is Dragon Quest. So I will probably play that and I'll probably have a chance to play it tonight at some point. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. See ya. Peace.